hello guys welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that a small probe p is gently forced against the circular surface with the vertical force f as shown determine the n and t components of this force as a function of the horizontal position s so we are given that this circular surface is in contact with this probe and this probe is a this probe is applying a force f or we can say that this probe is applying a force of magnitude f and we are asked to find the n and t components of this force f as a function of this s the horizontal of distance of this probe from the center of this circular surface so i have drawn the free body diagram here this uh, red arrow shows that force of the probe so we will say this is the force of the probe and as you guys can see we are given the n and t axis so we are going to find the normal and tangential components of this force f so now let's say if i join the center of this uh, circular surface with the point of application of that force f and if i extend this so let's say we draw a line joining with the tip of the force f and if i extend this so as you guys can see this is our positive normal direction so i will say this is my positive normal direction so we can say that this is our positive normal direction and perpendicular to this normal we will have the tangential axis so let's say this is my tangential this is my tangential axis so we can say this is our tangential axis now let's say this force f is making uh, angle theta with the normal axis since we want to find the component of this force f along the n and t so we must find the angle of this force f with either n um, axis or either t axis so we must find the angle of this force f with any of these two so let's say that we have this this force f is making angle theta here and as you guys can see that this force is vertical and this is this is that same line so we will have that same angle theta here as well so we can say that this angle is angle theta as well so now since we know the angle of this force f with this positive n axis we can say that this force f will have two components it will have one component in this direction this will be f n and it will have one component in this direction so we will have f t this will be f t and we will have f n and the sum of both of these by head to tail rule will give us that force f so we can say that this will be f n in the negative n direction and we will have f t so now as you guys can see that the fn is adjacent to the angle so fn is the cost component so we can say that fn is f cos of theta and since fn is in the negative n direction we must write minus sign and we will have ft so if fn is the cost component ft will be the sine component so we can say f will be ft will be f sine of theta and it is acting in the positive t direction since we were asked in the problem statement that write these n and t components as a function of the horizontal position s so we must write this sine of theta and cos of theta in terms of this horizontal position s now if we use this right angle triangle and if i apply sine of theta to this right angle triangle so we can say that sine of theta so sine of theta to this right angle triangle will be the perpendicular divided by the hypotenuse or we can say that the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse so sine of theta will be s divided by r and as we know that um, sine square theta plus cos square theta this is always equal to one this is trigonometric identity so we must find in order to write fn in terms of that uh, horizontal position s we must represent this cos of theta in terms of that s so by using this we can say that 
cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta and if we take square roots on both sides of the equation we will have that cos theta so cos of theta is equal to 1 minus now sine of theta is s divided by r so we can say 1 minus s divided by r square under the square root and this will be equal to 1 minus s square divided by r square and we can further write it as r square and r square minus s square under the square root and similarly we can write this as r square minus s square divided by r so this is equal to cos of theta now as you guys can see that fn and f of t so fn is minus minus f cos of theta and now cos of theta is equal to this so we can say that this will be r square minus s square divided by under the square root divided by r this is fn in terms of that horizontal position s and the radius of that surface and similarly we can say that ft so ft is the sine component so we can say f sine of theta so f and sine of theta is s divided by r this is s divided by r so we can say this is s divided by r so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from engineering statics by Miriam and craig 8 edition